It's big a trick trivia time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina and Taco just for you. It's big a trick trivia time. And we'll feel it all. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Hello, welcome everybody. Happy Friday evening. My name is Ollie with Bega Tricks Entertainment. Thank you so much for being here tonight and uh, playing some trivia with us. We're going to get into this in just a couple minutes. But before we do, I want to make sure that anybody out there, whether this is your first time or not, you understand that in order to play trivia, you won't be answering here on YouTube. You need to join our online game platform. It's very simple to do. All you have to do is either click on the link that we posted uh, in Facebook, uh, the Facebook event, or if you're ready to go and you're not on Facebook, you can just type in any uh, into any internet browser. Go to online.bagoftricks.com and put in tonight's game code TRICKS3, T-R-I-C-K-S-3. Once you've done that, you'll see a screen that looks a little bit like this asking you, for just three pieces of information, I forgot to click on the city. Uh, let me do that really quick because I enjoy seeing where you guys are playing from uh, in terms of the city that you're in. Uh, so I'll add that. It's not required. Okay, let me refresh this. Let's see what happens. Yeah, there we go. All right, so once you're at the sign-in screen, it's going to ask you to provide a nickname. Now, it says nickname, but what we're looking for here is the name that you want to go by during tonight's competition. This is your team name. Uh, the second and third blanks uh, and the fourth blanks are optional, but the second or third are the city and the state that you're playing from. I'm here in Lockport, Illinois. Forgot how to spell Illinois for a second. Uh, last but not least is the loyalty number. Bag of Tricks loyalty program. If you are a member, go ahead and put in your number. If you're not a member yet, there's a link in the description of this video. You can sign yourself up for free so that you can earn taco bucks if you happen to finish in first, second, or third place tonight. Either way, once you're done, click on go. You'll see this screen. It says game will begin shortly. Once you see this, you can hang tight because there's nothing else that you need to do until we dive into the questions. I'm just going to go over what we have coming up for you here on our schedule and how this game is played. So once again, hello, my name is Holly. I'll be your host for the evening. I'm not alone. Taco is here. Uh, he is cleaning himself, as Crispy pointed out, but thankfully... The other side of the camera, you can't see it. Gina's here in the room with us. Katniss, I think, is here in the room with us. We're just missing Penelope right left. now. Oh, uh, thank you all for being here. Thanks so much for showing up uh, on a Friday night to hang out with us and play trivia. We do have more opportunities coming up, not just this week but next week for some fun events. Let me pull up my schedule because I'm horrible at remembering what we have going on. So, coming up. Uh, tonight, we have general knowledge trivia, as I mentioned. Tomorrow, I've been reminding you about this. I hope many of you are joining us. We have the West Suburban Humane Society online trivia fundraiser. That's from 6 to 7.30 tomorrow. It's general knowledge trivia, but I can tell you, give you a little bit of a leg up, there will be a lot of cat and dog trivia. There's going to be a lot of love trivia floating in the air. Um, so a lot of fun love stuff. love cats and dogs. <laughs> yeah, right? It all fits together. Uh, tomorrow night from 6 to 7.30, support our local uh, Humane Society here. Help some dogs, help some cats, and have some fun. There's also, I believe, a $100 gift card on the line for first place in the trivia competition. So not something you want to miss out on. So join us for that. It's tomorrow. You can still buy tickets. All the information is available on Facebook. Next week, we will be here on Monday with General Knowledge Trivia. On Wednesday with General Knowledge Trivia. And on Friday with harry potter trivia so i alluded to this yesterday today we made the announcement we'll be doing harry potter trivia and some of you have done uh, uh tried our new platform with us and many of you haven't so just to give you a little bit of a heads up next friday so one week from now at 9 p.m we'll be doing harry potter trivia via uh, our new streaming platform that's called luna park um, we will continue to do these youtube events for the foreseeable future but we will start to do certain events via Luna Park because it offers some really awesome and unique features that we cannot do here on YouTube. Namely, when we play Harry Potter trivia, you can join to play trivia 
with a team and you can see each other and you can talk with each other all while you can see and hear me asking you the questions. So I can ask you a question and you can discuss with your teammates and then all of you can answer in the same window on your browser. There's no more need for two windows or three devices, et cetera, et cetera. You'll be able to do everything from within one browser window and you can play with your friends or your family virtually or together. Um, so please do join us for that. If you're a Harry Potter fan, we will do more events in the future, different themes. Um, but this first one coming up is next Friday, and that is free to play. All of the events I just mentioned, with the exception of our fundraiser for the West Suburban Humane Society, are free to play. With that in mind, there is a link down there uh, with some links if you'd like to leave a tip or a donation to your trivia host. That's me. Uh, we sincerely appreciate it. Those tips and those donations that you send to Bag of Tricks allow us to continue hosting these events for as long as possible. Uh, we pay to use these platforms that we host trivia for so or, or on for you. So when you guys send those tips, those donations, they go a really, really, really long way towards allowing us to continue doing this into the future, even after we start resuming trivia in person which we are doing now too um so just a quick rundown next week uh, and only because some of you have asked me i'm going to let you all know next week we will have some events in person these events are only at locations that we feel are practicing proper precautions um and doing this safely so that you can head out enjoy some good food and some good drinks play some trivia um in the safest manner possible on Tuesday, if you're in the Plainfield area, we'll be at Freedom Brothers Pizza. Uh, it's delicious, first of all. Great food, great drinks. Uh, Jeff will be there hosting General Knowledge Trivia next week. And then also on Wednesday, you'll have two opportunities. If you're in anywhere near Lamont, Illinois, or anywhere near Roselle, Illinois, you'll be able to play trivia at Pollyanna Brewing Company. Uh, both of the locations on Wednesday will be hosting General Knowledge Trivia. Last but not least, next Thursday, you can hang out with Nate playing music bingo in person at Two Pints Lounge in Bolingbrook in the Promenade. Um, so we have events Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, I will also say, sorry, I know my intro is going a little over here, but uh, I have a lot to talk about. And I will say, some of you have already seen this online, and I'm very excited to confirm and let you all know. Uh, replay in Lincoln Park, the arcade bar, is doing a Shit's Creek pop up they have become the Ro rosebud right rosebud hotel rosebud. Ro motel uh they have become the rosebud motel for the foreseeable future so it's an arcade bar in lincoln park on sheffield um you can hang out it's free to enter but you do if you want to go for the pop-up you want to do reservations you can purchase tickets that include your drinks uh and everything is schitt's creek themed so if you've ever wanted to visit schitt's creek and act like david or any other member of the family you can do that you can live out your dreams and we will be hosting Shit's creek trivia in march we'll be doing that a couple days in march i'll be posting those dates here shortly we just have to nail that all down i just want to let you guys know there's a lot of fun stuff coming up both in person and online we have no plans to slow down with our online trivia so thank you all for being here um, and speaking of online trivia let me jump up into the corner thank you guys for the tips and the donations some of you have sent those tonight uh, we really, really appreciate that. Thank you so much. All right. Tonight's game is general knowledge trivia. These questions are about anything and everything. Uh, the top winners will win some taco bucks first, second, and third place. But in order to end up in first, second, or third place, you need to answer questions correctly. For the first round tonight, all of the questions will be multiple choice, which means I'll ask you a question. You'll see it on the screen. Once I start your 25 second timer, You'll see four options appear on the screen, and you have to select the answer that you believe is correct. It's always A, B, C, and D. One of them's correct. Three of them are wrong. As long as you select the correct answer, you will earn up to 150 points based on how quickly you answer. I'll say that again. You're earning up to 150 points based on how quickly you answer. So make sure you answer quickly, but be careful because once you click an answer, you can't switch to a different answer. If you click A, that's your answer, you're locked in. If you click B, that's your answer, you're locked in, etc., and so on. Things will change as we move through this competition, but the first 15 questions are multiple choice, so that's what we're gonna start with right now. Uh, one other thing I wanna mention, hey, thanks, Regina. Thank you for the tip. Thank you for the donation. Uh, one other thing I wanna mention is if we come to a question that you see and you just have no idea what the answer may be, take a guess. You don't lose any points if you're wrong, 
And if you don't answer at all, you have a 0% chance of guessing the correct answer. So with all of that said, thank you guys so much for being here tonight. We're going to have some fun. This very first question is for anybody out there who has maybe never played trivia with us before, or uh, maybe you haven't. It's been a long time. The first question just isn't worth any points. This one's for fun, so you can see how the system works before we dive into the real questions. Here we go. Question number one, our practice question coming up on your screen. Now, I should say somewhere that this is a practice question, but I don't know that it does. Uh, it does. Okay. I wasn't sure. If you're on the mobile view, you can't see this on YouTube, but somebody reminded me of this today. If you're playing from your phone, it tells you this is a practice question that doesn't count, so you don't just have to take me at my word. Uh, what is the name of your host today? What is the name of your host today? That's me. What's my name? Is it Oscar, Ernie, mm -hmm. Bert, or Emma? Oh, <laughs> I forgot to change this. Oh, back. my God. <laughs> Uh, my name is none of these, uh, so have some fun. This doesn't count. I did a training earlier today um, with an individual who's going to be hosting events for us in the future, and I was showing her how the system worked, and her name is Emma, in case you were wondering. So that's hilarious. I even thought to myself, when I changed the answer to Emma, I said, Ali, remember to change this back, otherwise you're going to look real dumb on trivia. Uh, so I changed it now. Uh, it should show up on your guys' device. Let's see if that worked. This gif is adorable and wholesome and pure. Isn't it, though? Yes. He doesn't love sex in the street. Uh, so fine. thankfully, this one did not count for points, uh, especially since none of them were correct. 11 people said I'm a grouch. Four people said I am Ernie. Nine people said Bert. Ten people said Emma slash Ali, which is the correct answer. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for that, everybody. I just want to say some hellos. I see a lot of people out here. Hey, yeah. Emma. Yes, not a redecoration. We just moved the camera around. Uh, no, BTS over Tayo Cruz every day. Get out of here. Charles, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Mer Merlin and Lerny. Hey, hey, Middleton Lens. Uh, Michelle Korn, yes, happy Friday. Yay. Hey, Amy Griffin. Yes, this is the three-day weekend. We have uh, Washington's birthday on Monday, I believe. Uh, hey, Jess and John and Tiki Drinks. Hey, Lindsay Davis. Good Friday evening. Hey, Chris B. Got vaccine number one tonight. Welcome. Congratulations. Uh, one of our hosts, Kelsey, many of you know her. She was also able to get in for vaccine number one tonight. I didn't tell you that. Uh, Kelsey? Yeah. Good. I'm very excited. Uh, Lindsay, Jen, Jess. Welcome, 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 welcome. Hey, Janessa. See you out there under your own name. Hey, Steph H. Lots of people. If I miss anybody, I apologize. But thank you all for being here. Uh, let's just have a cheers because we're all here together on a Friday night. Cheers. Having some fun. Cheers, everybody. Happy Friday. Whiskey and whiskey and whiskey. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. This is where the questions start counting for points. Apple. Real questions. Is he still licking? Yeah, he already had a Zyrtec. We gave him a Zyrtec. Little boy's got allergies, just like his mommy and daddy. Here, have a banana. Let me itch your paw for you. All right, question. Maybe he's allergic to bananas. Janessa Barbian is always here. Yeah, that's what I was saying, Chris. I know she's always here. I just don't always see her actually commenting in the chat. Uh, question number two. If a triangle has side lengths of five, six, and seven, three sides, one is five, one is six, one is seven. It would be classified as which of these triangles? We're starting it off tough unless you're a geometry person. What would you call a triangle whose sides are five, six, and seven? Is it equilateral, right, isosceles, or scalene? Taco Sushi is downstairs because yeah. he always brings it down there. He loves playing with it. It stays down there because he loves it so much. I mean, this is barely math, Lindsay. It is kind of math, but it's more geometry. A Ugh. subsection of math. I still got a D in it. No, low C. Low C. Geometry was my least favorite of the math subjects. I, was, I am awful at math. I enjoy numbers. I don't like shapes so much. Um, so let's see. Nobody said equilateral. So great job. You guys realize that equilateral means all the sides would be equal. Now, one person said right, and technically three sides of different lengths could be a right triangle, but this one is not. This is not isosceles, an isosceles triangle, two sides are the same. So if it was five, five and seven, then that would be an isosceles. But the correct answer here is scalene. Scalene, when none of the, the sides are the same length and also there's no right 
angle. No right angle. So good job. We're still off to a good start. Some of you hated it, but 76% of you got it right. So you know what? Here we are. Question number three. In the United States, what classical song is often played for graduation ceremonies? What song are you most likely to hear during a graduation ceremony in the United States? Is it symphony number five in C minor, the triumphal march, pomp and circumstance, or Fjörlis? Fjörlis. Good guess. Good guess, Lindsay. Good job. I could probably do a backflip like this guy, yeah. It's lucky he didn't break his neck up there. Great job. Here's your diploma, and you're dead. All right, everybody's in. One person said A and D. Two people said Triumphal March. Could you imagine him playing Fear Elise? As you're walking down. The <laughs> it's beautiful. Uh, the correct answer is Pomp and Circumstance. I thought it was some dude named Pompin. And it was his circumstance. Pump and circumstance. I thought it was that song by Vanity Fleet. <laughs> As we go. Uh, What's that song called? It's the a graduation, graduation song. <laughs> yeah. Graduation song, parentheses, Uh-oh. friends yeah. forever, I believe. Vitamin C. Friends yeah, graduation, forever. parentheses, friends forever. Not friends forever from Zack Attack that's on really Saved by the Bell. I know. All right. Question number four. Oh, actually, that's a social. We don't want to skip over that. 89% of you got that right. So we're drinking. Cheers, everybody. Oh my god. I put my hand over his paw so he stopped licking You're Licking your hand? Yeah. Yeah. As we go on, we remember. Uh, question number four. In one of her first film roles, you're welcome for the gift. What actress played Goose's wife in Top Gun? Who played Goose's wife in Top Gun? Was it Meryl Streep? Meg Ryan, Michelle Pfeiffer, or Melanie Griffith? Last time I did a Top Gun question without the volleyball gif, I was almost kicked out of trivia. Vitamin C. Yeah, her hair was orange, you know, like vitamin C. Boom, <laughs> bless up. Thanks, Jen. <laughs> oh, taco. Finally. I know. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's take a look at how we guessed uh nobody said meryl streep three people said melody griffith four people said michelle pfeiffer 29 people said meg ryan which is 81 percent of you so cheers everybody that's a social that was meg ryan take her breath away (laughs) i don't know take Take her her breath breath away away coming up next question number five What is the name of this famous painting? We're looking at the picture. This is a picture question. What is the name of this famous painting by Spanish artist Pablo Picasso? What is the name of this painting? Is it Family of Salt and Binks, The Weeping Woman, The Frugal Rapace, or Guernica? There are women in this movie. (laughs) Oh, it's a fantastic brand new song. About cancer, I think? It's about something bad. Yeah! Jesse Lacey wrote it about his grandfather who was dying of cancer. You know, Jesse Lacey's a very uplifted guy. Yeah, we're not all huge fans of Jesse Lacey anymore, but I'll still fucking rock out to some brand new. I'm sorry. Dang. Two people said The Frugal Repast. Four people said Weeping Woman. Six people said The Family of Salt and Bunks. Uh, 26 people correctly said this is, uh, I believe, a depiction of some type of Spanish war. It is Guernica. A bombing. It is a depiction of a bombing. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen this famous painting. I'm very cultured. You sound like Ralph Wiggum. I'm cultured. Uh, good job. Everybody that put D, 68% of you. Almost a Chris B cookie social. Ah, a Chris B cookie social. Question number five is done. So we're uh, going to take our first look at the standings. I'm going to throw them up on the screen. You'll have a second to see. I'll read through them as well. Let's take a look together. Currently in first is Pookie Power in second. Welcome back, Penis Cuddling. Hey, oh, right behind Penis Cuddling is IP Freely. Uh, 
All right, currently in fourth. Whoops, sorry, everybody. Currently in fourth, Jen Sterna. In fifth, Santi Yans. In sixth, Team Beads. Biege, I'm for somebody whose name is really similar to yours, I'm butchering it. Uh, sorry about that. Claire Farewell in seventh. Snape in eighth. Cream Ampersand Team in ninth. Merton Lerney in tenth. Papa Giorgio in eleventh. Team Cream in twelfth. Lindsay in thirteenth. Um, hold on. We have to do this right if we're going to do it at all. In what place is this? Uh, 14th place, we have... Oh, my God. Team Fart Noise Friday. You guys are my favorite team right now. <laughs> oh, I wasn't even going to do it, but thank you. Uh, Steffi Star in 15th. Team Coast to Coast in 16th. Space Ghost in 17th. Is my mom here? In 18th, uh, please don't touch my dog. In 18th, also tied the cookie catastrophe. In 20th, uh, ooh, werewolves in lockdown. 21st, the Angelicas, Artie, and Winnie coming to you live from somewhere not usual, but tied with Miss LaRocca and Bert in 21st. Hey. Mama Lens in 23rd. That corn's in 24th. Oh, yeah, a cookie catastrophe in 25th. Tied with M Dubs. Stanley Goodspeed in 27th. A whole numero uno in 28th. Ready to enjoy the Chris B special. I enjoyed a Chris B special, and it was incredible. Who is that? What team is that? In 30th is Pizza. In 31st, Bowler, 1985. Uh, in 32nd, JMO. 33rd, the McKenzels. 34th, the Spicy Meat the Balls. Followed by a poo-poo and a pee, pee Team Wine in 36th. Team Cream in 37th. No Money in 38th. And Hasera in 39th. Now... These scores are very preliminary. We have a lot of questions left to go. I'm not going to read all those team names off every time. If you're sitting there saying, hurry up, Ollie, get through this. That's okay. I'm only going to read a couple teams going forward. Question number six. What 19, <coughs> excuse me, what 1960s classic song kicks off with the lyrics, we skipped the light fandango, turned cartwheels, crossed the floor? What song kicks off with these lyrics? Is it She's Not There by the Zombies? Ain't Too Proud to Beg by the Temptations? A Wider Shale, Shade of Pale by Procol Harum? Or House of the Rising Sun by the Animals? Werewolves in Lockdown is here tonight. I saw them on the thing. Uh, the Crispy Special does not disappoint. Oh, so there's somebody else with the Crispy Special. Fantastic. This is good enough. Uh, <laughs> crispy special sounds. Yes, Jess, it's exactly what it sounds like. Oh, so can somebody confirm? This is Neil deGrasse Tyson in the shower, right? Could, well, and the 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 gif is titled Astrogasmic. <laughs> I don't know if that's his <laughs> his tagline. Uh, apparently, uh, NDT can get it. Uh, one person said the zombies. Five people said the temptations. Five people said House of the Rising Suns. First time I ever heard of this song was in the book Perks of Being a Wallflower. This was on the mix that he made for her. Correct answer, Wider Shade of Pale by Procol Harum. Yeah, Wider Shade of P Pale. Thanks, Charles. That is him. All right, question seven. What is the name of this character? It's another picture question. What is the name of this character? From a short-lived Hanna-Barbera series shown on ABC in 1974. What is the name of this character? Is it Mr. Peabody, Choo Choo Chan, Hong Kong Fooey, or Huckleberry Hound? Based off of war. Thank you, Middleton Lens. My BFA is saying thank you, <laughs> Jen. <laughs> oh, I just saw that. You enjoy some good art history not that i know anything about it oh, oh we we were a double social right up until the end uh one person said choo choo chan 36 people correctly said hong kong fooey this is hong kong fooey that's a social so that's one drink everybody cheers question number eight eight as of this year our Canadian friends, who is the only Prime Minister of Canada to be the son of a former Canadian Prime Minister? 
As of this year in Canadian history, only one father-son duo have led, which is the only one of these individuals who is the son of a former Canadian prime minister. Is it Brian Mulroney, Stephen Harper, Paul Martin, or Justin Trudeau? Bay, yeah. Uh, Jess, remind me to show you sometime. I think I showed you uh, all before. I have a friend who could be his doppelganger, a very close friend who looks exactly yeah. like this individual. Lindsay, admit to ruining the double social. That's okay. You didn't do it on purpose. You didn't know. That's cute about the Hanna Barbera shows. That's cute. They're classic. Yeah. <laughs> Christina. Finally, a Canadian politics wow. question, you know. Uh, one person each said Harper and Martin. 36 of you correctly said Trudeau. Justin Trudeau's dad was the prime minister, I believe, in the late 80s. Uh, and he is now the prime minister and rocking that dad beard. Oh, is he, like, biting you? I was trying to clean his eyeballs. Oh, he doesn't like when you clean his eyes like this. Apparently oh, apparently he does. Well, apparently he doesn't mind when I do it. Well, that's what happens when you have dirty eyes, bud. All right. Question number nine. What company? Ooh, watch this gif. It's a dog. What company produces the popular FIFA video game series? FIFA, the soccer video game series. Is it Nintendo, 2K, Sega, or Electronic Arts? Soccer ball into a Dalmatian. Let Maggie we, we meet this person. Yeah, she has good taste. Oh, I'm excited. We're going to see uh, Maggie and Addison tomorrow because she is delivering our Girl Scout cookies. Snow might I don't know about the snow. Oh, yeah. If the snow's really bad, obviously, we'll just delay that. But if it's not too bad, they're coming to deliver one of each box of Girl Scout cookies. Uh, everybody's in. Great job. Yeah. As uh, Middleton Lenz said, get in the game. Electronic Arts. Correct answer. Electronic Arts. Ooh, somebody's nesting. <gasps> He knocked your banana down. Okay. Look at him looking at you like, uh, I know I knocked it, but could you grab it? 84% uh, of you got that right, which means it's a social. So cheers, everybody. All right, question number 10. We'll look at the standings again after this. On which 1960s TV show would you hear character Sergeant Schultz say, I see nothing, I hear nothing, I know nothing. Which 1960s show would you hear Sergeant Schultz say this? Is it Hogan's Heroes, The Rat Patrol, F Troop, or McHale's Navy? Taco, if you knock that banana off the desk again, nobody's going to pick it up for you. That's not true. I will pick it up for the next one. I know, but... not the only one knocking it off the desk. He's my child. Yeah, Lindsay, you're correct. I will pick it up a million times in a row. Uh, almost all of you got this right. It's another social. Hogan's Heroes. Cheers, everybody. Take another drink. Happy Friday. All right. That's question 10. So here are the standings. Pookie Power. Still in first. Is that a Garfield quote? Uh, second is Team Coast to Coast. Is that a Third Coast reference? is Penis cuddling everybody else take a look see where you're at not the banana cookies for everybody yeah but i got the best cookies today um oh taco what'd you hear what'd you see what you doing there bud <gasps> what you doing action shot Can I have that banana? It's the peel. Oh, can I have the peel? There's a banana. <gasps> Which one do you want more? Both. Okay. You can have it. All right, we have six questions left in this first multiple choice round. Here we go. Question number E11. The Buffy the Vampire Slayer TV series premiered in 1997. 
for how many seasons did it run? Uh, now, hang on one second. I'm going to pause the game. I was told that if I pause, I want to reorder this so that everything's in order for you all. Um, but I know that in the past, this has been causing an issue. So we'll see if this works. Um, okay, hopefully this works. Buffy the Vampire Slayer TV series was on TV for how many se seasons? Was it five, six, seven, or eight? I really hope it's in that order for you. Let me know. Jess, I was hoping that wouldn't come up. I wrote this question before everything started coming out. I mean, I know we've known for a while, uh, but it's come back to the top of the the news cycle. Thanks for using a spicy dip. You're welcome. No, no, don't don't say sorry. I, I don't feel bad about it. Um, I feel horrible. I ha this is another example. This is a Jesse Lacey thing. I have to separate the individual from the uh, the content that I enjoy. Like, I want to go back and watch more Firefly. Same order. Okay, seems like they're fixing stuff. Uh, one person said five. Eight people said six. 22 people said seven. Six people said eight. There were seven seasons. Oof, Jesse Lacey. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Great job. 59% of you got that right. Question 12, Vision of Love and Love Takes Time were the first two singles from which pop star's debut album. Vision of Love and Love Takes Time were the first two singles from I which like pop Jigglypuff. stars... Yeah. I know. I can hear Jigglypuff's song in my head. Jigglypuff, Jigglypuff. Uh, who gave us these two songs? Was it Shania Twain? Mariah Carey, Gloria Estefan, or Janet Jackson? Uh, Chris, yeah, apparently Joss Whedon is an absolute nightmare to work with and, and probably worse if you're a woman. Uh, I, I don't know all of the specifics. I did hear the, the latest thing that came to light today is that um, there was a, there was a rule on the set that Joss Whedon was not allowed to be alone with Michelle Trachtenberg. So we don't know if it's because I don't know. They didn't give any details. So it might not have been anything too crazy, but it might have just been that she was 15 and he was rude as hell. Like he has a history of yelling at people and like being overly mean. So maybe they just didn't want that. But the way that Hollywood goes, it's probably worse. One person said Shania, six people said Gloria, three people said Janet, 28 people said Mariah, Mariah Carey. Great job. Uh, question number 13 on to happier things. In 2013, Puppy Bowl. Uh, this is an actual NFL question, though. Who set the NFL record for touchdown passes in a season? In 2013, this record still stands. Who set the NFL record for the most touchdown passes in a single season? Was it Eli Manning, Peyton Manning, Tom Brady, or Drew Brees? Okay, uh, so we're going to look at this uh, answer in a second. But before we do, in case any of you didn't get to watch the, the Puppy Bowl this year, uh, this was the MVP of the Puppy Bowl. Uh, her name is Chunky Monkey, and I dream about her. I wish that I had Chunky Monkey. I love Taco, oh, but I think so Taco could use a sister whose name is Chunky Monkey and looks like this. Well, Oh my god, Chunky Monkey, why are you the cutest thing in the world? Oh, is this Chunky Monkey Splutin? I mean, oh my god. The puppy bowl restored my heart. I Listen, I, sometimes I say this facetiously, but this year, 100% seriously, I enjoyed the puppy bowl more than I did the Super Bowl. Um, everybody's in. One person said Eli. Oh. 16 people said Peyton. 13 said Tom Brady. 8 said Drew Brees. The correct answer was Peyton Manning. Peyton Manning set and still holds that record. I think it was 55 or 56 uh, touchdown passes in a single season. Question number 14. 
Speaking of Tom Brady, even though he wasn't the correct answer, here's a question about him. Tom Brady's wife, Giselle Bonjour, a successful fashion model, is a native of which country? Giselle is a native of which country? Is it Denmark, Australia, Canada, or Brazil? Did you read this question because we were talking about all your friends on Duolingo? How about these friends on Duolingo are female and from this country? <laughs> <laughs> they're not friends. They're followers. They like to see how well I'm doing at learning French. <laughs> Chunky monkey forever. Yes. I also loved Biscuit. I think I mentioned that. Uh, the dog that was with one oh. of the formerly homeless people. Oh, Biscuit. Yeah, but that whole song. I cried multiple times. Yeah, I cried a little bit during that. Yeah, Biscuit was incredible. Elderly dog. Incredible face. Oh, no. Nine people said Denmark. Two people said Australia. 27 people said Brazil. Le Brazil. Great job. 27 of you got that. Right. All right, two questions left in this first round. The 1980s Los Angeles Lakers were known by which nickname? Also, if you're looking for somebody to hate, the guy in this gif, prime territory. The 1980s Los Angeles Lakers were known by which nickname? The big timers, Showtime, Hollywood, or Stars? <laughs> you know that phrase, punchable face? This question is so much. Yeah, sorry. Sports! <laughs> that is a punchable face, Steph. Yes, yes, yes. Taco would love to cuddle a chunky monkey. Can you imagine walking into the, the room and you just see Taco and Chunky Monkey laying like head on head? Oh, yeah, yeah, they would love it. Feet and tank paws entangled. All right. Uh, everybody said four people said big timers. Eight people said Hollywood. Three people said stars. 23 people correctly said it's showtime. Showtime, the correct answer. Great job. All right, one more multiple choice question. Here we go. Question 26. Uh, I just watched a new documentary about the movie industry. This was in the first episode. I thought it was interesting. The Wizard of Oz, Stagecoach, Gone with the Wind, and Ninochka are among the many films released in this year considered one of the greatest ever years for American film. What year did all of these films come out? Was it 1939, 1944, 1949, or 1954? Uh, so if you have HBO Max, there's a documentary. I think it's just called Movies. Um because there's another documentary, the one that we were watching together, about the history of comedy. Yeah. Oh, I think it's called The History of Movies. Um, and each episode is a little bit different. The first one was about the golden age uh, of movies. And then the second one was the 60s. And then it goes into the 70s. Jess, this is going pretty well along with um, what we're doing with our, our movie club, watching the different decades. This was fun to watch. Uh, but the correct answer here, a lot of you knew this, is 1939. 1939, Wizard of Oz Stagecoach was uh, John Wayne's first film, looking young as ever. Gone with the Wind, obviously, Nanachka, um, all in 1939, among many, many, many other famous films. So good job. 84% of you got that, which means we're drinking some more of whatever you're drinking. Again, this doesn't have to be alcohol. Don't ever feel left out if you're drinking water or tea or coffee or chocolate milk, which I could really go for. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Uh, that was question 16, which means we're looking at the standings again. Currently in first is Penis Cuddling slithering up into first, Pookie Power in second, and Decorns up into third. Everybody else, take a look. See where you're at. We're going to get into the next round here in just a second. Things are going to change, though, so I'll let you know how that works before we do that in just a few.
All right. We're going to get into this. If anybody was watching Taco, he's just staring at Gina. He just loves her. Well, the feeling is poochual. The feeling is poochual. <laughs> Good one. Today I said Taco was the love of my life, but Ellie is the love of the decade. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> in case anybody didn't hear that, I want to be clear. I want to make sure everybody hears. Gina today said that Taco is the love of her life, and I'm the love of this decade. So that's a thing that was said. Uh, but that's okay. I'm good with that. All right, here we go. We are moving on to the next round. The next round is a picture round. A picture round, which means I'm going to be, we're going to do five questions, but each of these questions will be from the same category. Uh, we'll do one at a time. I'll be asking you to identify something about the picture. Tonight is all about celebrities. Tonight is all about celebrities, so get ready. No sports, no science, no math, my friends. This is celebrities specifically very young pictures of famous celebrities i'm going to show you a childhood photo of a celebrity you have to tell me who it is you have 30 seconds to do so, 25 seconds to do so if you're correct you earn 25 250 points i was off by a power of 10 um, if you're correct, you were in 250 points. But the one thing I haven't mentioned is we're not doing multiple choice anymore. That's gone. Now you have to type your answer in. I think you guys all know this, but you have to type your answer in. I'm going to show you a picture of a celebrity as a child. You tell me who the celebrity is. Type it in first and last name, and you earn 250 points if you're correct. Here we go. Some of these easy, some of these tough. First one, we'll find out. Question 17, what is the name of this celebrity by their childhood photo? Who are we looking at? This might actually be kind of tough. Oh. Oh, this is so cute. I've never seen this photo. Apparently, this is not tough. You guys are doing fantastic. Uh, I'm going to try to focus on hosting trivia, but I just want everyone to know that I am getting multiple texts from my wife of dogs available for rescue. Uh, specifically, there's a Chow Chow. Uh, we have a Chow Chow rescue, and then we have Macy, another rescue available. Uh, this is what's popping up on my phone right now, and I'm here for it. No, I love it. Please don't stop. All right, everybody's in. A couple of you spelled it wrong. Okay, some of you waited till the end. Uh, the correct answer here, we're going to drink for anything over 70% in this round, just so you can get your drinks ready. Anything over 70% correct. Uh, the correct answer here is George Clooney. Casamigos, George Clooney himself. Well, bro. Cheers, everybody. 74% of you got that, right? His hair was so blonde. It was, right? But those eyes and the eyebrows. Yeah, you can if you cover his hair, it's George Clooney. All right. Uh, question number 18. I don't think this one's too tough. I think you guys will do well. What is the name of this celebrity by their childhood photo? Who is this? You don't know? Really? Yes. Okay. Okay, Gina got it. She just wasn't sure at first. Or Arnie Munchen. Oh my god. Yup. Alright, everybody's in. Ooh. I need to look up somebody because I don't know what they look like. Oh, okay. That's a fantastic guess. Um, hold on. I'll show this to everybody. So I didn't know. I mean, I knew her, but I didn't know her name. Kira Sedgwick. It does look like her. It does look like That's Kira Sedgwick. It's not Kira Sedgwick. This is Julia it Roberts. Looks like Jennifer Jason Lee yeah, too. this is Julia Roberts. Yeah. It does also look like Jennifer Jason Lee. Uh, I could see Jamie Lee in there a little bit, but absolutely, this is. Yeah, Julia Roberts just missing a few teeth. Those baby teeth are gone. Uh, John is inexplicably good at this round. That's okay. Not good at this. That's okay, Chris. You're a very delicious cookie. All right. Question 19. This is another... You're a very delicious cookie. Wow. So... Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Take that as you will. Question 19. Name this celebrity by their childhood photo. You can do this. You got this. Hey, I just want to let you know I love this round. Thank you very much. 
Sedgwick is Kevin Bacon's wife. Incredible! Yeah, they've been married a very long time. Oh, I didn't know that. I was just going to look up how long they've been married. Since 1988? Mm -hmm. Holy shit! That's love. Oh, good for them. They have two children. Sosi, which is a name I love, and Travis Bacon. Wow, they've been oh. married forever! Good for them. Really cool. Oh I my hated the guy who worked with him. Gosh, why did you leave him for me? You should have stuck I'm with Kevin Bacon. With Kevin Bacon. Oh, I am. Ah. Oh. All right. Let's watch Tremors after we're done with trivia. The toothy girl from Mystic Pizza. <laughs> the toothy. Oh, girl. Hey, Crystal. McFly, what's up? Crystal and Stephanie, I didn't know that. We'll have to look that up. What's that? A few videos. Few videos on singing on YouTube. Aww. Huh. I will have to check that out. They have a goat named Macon. Oh, my God. Macon Bacon. Macon Bacon Pancakes. Macon Bacon Pancakes. <laughs> okay. Where's Nick Payne? Uh, all right. Everybody is in. I'm just marking some stuff correct. This is not Carrot Top. It's not Ryan Gosling. Ooh, Carrot Top's a good guest. He, he does have very similar features uh, before all the plastic surgery. The correct lot, answer. All good guesses. Yeah, is Ashton yeah. Kutcher. Cheers. That's a social. Ashton Kutcher. All right, question number 20. Name this celebrity by their childhood photo. This is a tough one. It's buffering, and I can, I can already tell who it is. Right? And very distinctive, but tough if you don't know. She has the same face. Mm-hmm. Face hasn't changed at all. Oh, wow, 97 ways to spell this name. All right, hang on. Let me mark a whole bunch of you correct. Uh, it's not Evan Rachel Wood, not Scarlett Johansson, not Kate Hudson, Cameron Diaz, Beverly D'Angelo. It's not Natalie Portman, although that's a very understandable confusion. Not Kristen Stewart, Jennifer Lawrence, Kristen Bell, Jodie Foster. This is Kira Knightley. 65% of you got it right. Almost enough for a drink, but not quite there. Thanks, Jess. I sincerely appreciate that. Uh, question 21, the final one, and perhaps my favorite. Name this celebrity by their childhood photo. Who it is? Oh my god. You know who that is. I do. Yeah. If it was Scarlett Johansson. <laughs> Ooh. You okay? Yeah. My neck just cracked pretty hard. Remember Scarlett Johansson in uh, Eight Legged Freaks? Um, I never saw that. <gasps> Ooh, what? With David Duchovny? Nope. David Arquette. Yeah, she was like actually a teenager in this film. <laughs> just look at. Can we just talk about the cover for the video? <laughs> look at this. <laughs> Yeah. From the producers of Independence Day she and did. Godzilla. I remember this from working Hollywood video. But honestly, it was super entertaining. Like, I enjoyed it. Uh, everybody's in. Sorry, guys. Uh, I'm bringing it back. Uh, let's see. This is Magic Mike himself, Channing Tatum. <laughs> Ali's favorite. Yes. Well, no. Matt Bomer is your favorite. Matt Bomer is my favorite. Channing Tatum's up there uh great job 59 percent of you all right um we are gonna look at the standings here i'm gonna throw it on taco i'm gonna put the standings up and then i'm gonna run for a quick bathroom break so take a second check out the standings grab another drink if you need to here we go first is pookie power second is my mom here third is slim everybody else take a look see where you're at we'll be back in just one sec
All right, we're back. Thanks for your patience. I'm human. I had to go to the bathroom. Uh, so we're going to get into the final round of trivia. This final round is just like the first in that they are 10 random questions. They are about anything and everything. But unlike the first round, they are not multiple choice. So you have to come up with the answer all on your own. These are worth 300 points apiece, and it is super close right now. First and second is only about 50 points apart. Second uh, to third is uh, just about that much as well. So <coughs> give it your best shot. These are worth 300 points apiece. You don't lose any points if you're wrong. Welcome back, Chris. You're about to give out some taco bucks, I feel. All right, here we go. Question 22. First question in our final round of trivia. What actor played the role of Hansel in the 2001 film Zoolander? Who was Hansel in the 2001 film Zoolander? He's so hot right now. All right, everybody's in. The Owen Wilson. Wow. Wow. Correct answer was Owen Wilson. 82% of you, that's a social cheers. Uh, great job. Great job. Uh, Will Ferrell was in there. He was Mugatu. Mugatu? Mugatu. Uh, question number 23. The word vaccine is most likely derived from the latin word for what animal as far as we can tell the word vaccine came to us from the latin word for what animal If you watch Jeopardy today, this was on Jeopardy today, Michelle. Oh. I didn't watch it today. Aw, that makes me feel good. If you watch Jeopardy today, you would know this. I hope it's the same. I hope I wrote the question correctly. <laughs> oh, somebody did say, just learn this on Jeopardy. Yeah, um, from the Latin, vaca. Vaca. Ooh, are we at a crispy? Oh, we were. We just popped it. Uh, from the Latin, vaca, which is cow. Vaccine. Cow, uh, because originally cowpox, uh, cowpox was the original disease, uh, like smallpox, uh, that they used to develop vaccines. So good job, 71% of you. Great job. Question 24. We have a couple about the United States tonight. In which state, you have a one of 50 shot, actually less, there weren't 50 states at this time. In which state did the surrender of General Lee to General Grant happen, ending the American Civil War? In which state did General Lee surrender to General Grant, ending the American Civil War? Thanks, Italian class. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that came from Latin will get you pretty close. Uh, let's see. How do you spell ver? Oh, yeah. Some extra letters in there. <laughs> Somebody said virginal. Uh, Virginia, the correct answer. Virginia. 74% of you got this right. Virginia, the correct answer. Question 25. Uh, this is an interesting question. Let's see if you can come up with this. First published uh, between 1851 to 1852 is a serial novel. What novel was the second best book of the entire 1800s? After the Bible, Crispy, you better know this. 
After the Bible, what was the best-selling book of the entire 19th century? Wait, Steph, why don't you like Ken Jennings? Maybe I missed something. All right, everybody's in. You put a lot of pressure on me for this question. Uh, it was not Moby Dick. Uh, the Bible was the best-selling book of the 19th century. The best, second best-selling was Harriet Beecher Stowe's Uncle Tom's Cabin. Uncle Tom's Cabin. Six of you got that right. This was pretty tough. Great job, those of you that got it. Here are the standings after that first half. Currently in first, Pookie Power. In second is my mom here. And in third, Snape. Everybody else, take a look, see where you're at. We just have one final set of questions left before we finish this out. Oh. She's got nothing for you, Taco. Nope. Nothing for you. Just lay oh, he is crossing boundaries onto your desk. Come on, Taco, come back. Oh, good boy. Lay down. He got a smooch. He did get a kiss. That's what he wanted, probably. All right, here we go. Final six questions of this round. Question number twenty six. In which European city could you visit the famous Acropolis? Where could you visit? The Acropolis. In which city would you find the Acropolis? Oh, Steph, yeah, he has a really sick sense of humor. I, I don't particularly agree uh, with him, not with you. Uh, I do not agree with his sense of humor. I remember uh, one of the jokes that they called out, now that you mentioned it, was... Um, and I'm not, I'm not repeating this as a funny thing. I remember that one of the reasons, because I like Ken Jennings, and this is something that made me not like him. He said, uh, Michael J. Fox could still act. They should just have him star in a show as a train conductor. Ooh. Like, how fucking horrible. That's awful. That's awful. But that's just not, that's that's not, just not funny. No. It's just... That's cruel. Yeah. Yikes. Ken Jennings? Yeah, oh, I, oh, yeah, I think I he took it too that. far. Because overall, he doesn't he doesn't get too much out there. He's Mormon. He doesn't even drink. All right, everybody's in. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe that's the problem. No, no, <laughs> no, I mean, definitely people not no I'm kidding. Ninety two percent of you got it right. Athens is the correct answer. Any jokes about someone in a wheelchair? Yeah, Steph, you're right. You're you're completely on it there. No. Yeah. Again, what is the theme tonight about separating people's abilities yeah. and their, their talent like from who they are? Because uh, as a trivia person, awesome. I loved him on Jeopardy, but don't particularly enjoy him as who he is. Question 27, speaking of geography, what is the only U.S. state capital city that starts with the letter N? Ooh. What is the only capital city in the United States that starts with the letter N? <laughs> all right everybody's in oh i am loving these guesses uh new york no the capital is albany new orleans the capital is baton rouge i like you know what i like i want to give points to the person that put in sacramento <laughs> uh the correct answer is nashville nashville tennessee nashville the correct answer all right, question number 28. Speaking of the United States, who is the only U.S. president in history to have also won a Rhodes Scholarship? It's a big deal to win a Rhodes Scholarship. Who's the only Rhodes, Rhodes Scholarship recipient to go on to be president of the United States? 
I couldn't find a good gift for this, so I went with Boys to Men End of the Road ah. Scholarship. End of the Road Scholarship. Oh, I fucking love this song. I did this in a lip sync contest, and I made it to the second round, but then I lost. Freaking lip sync contest. <laughs> Just see what I said. Everybody's in. It wasn't Obama, JFK, FDR, John, or Garfield. This was Bill Clinton. William Jefferson Clinton. Uh, one of the presidents who have Jefferson in their name. Um, all right. Question 29. In what U.S. state? Would you find Cape Canaveral? I know one specific team out there that will know this for sure. One team will know this for sure. Many of you might know this. All right. I like this gift. No capes. No capes. Just Cape Canaveral. Uh, everybody's in Florida is the correct answer. Florida. All right, two questions left. Oh, also, a drink for this 97% of you. Uh, almost two drinks. We'll get some more in just a second. Question number 30. The Phantom of the Opera is officially the longest running show on Broadway. What show comes in at second? What show is the second longest running show oh. on Broadway after Phantom of the Opera? We both just burped. <laughs> Good job. Maybe you are the love of my life. Oh. oh. Did you just finish that with taco? I can do taco as well, Michael. Oh. All right. Everybody's in. We had four guesses. Cats, Chicago, Wicked, and Le Mitrois. Was that good French? Let me do that. Uh, the correct answer here, uh, and it's interesting because it is actually only since the 1996 revival, Chicago is the correct Aww. answer. Chicago. Now, don't feel bad. Um, Lion King is third. Cats is fourth. Wicked is fifth. And Les Mis is sixth. Wait. Wicked has been running longer than Les Mis? No. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they, like, in terms of, because Les Mis closed in 2003, like, original run. Oh, original run. Broadway. Oh, Broadway. Okay. We're not okay. talking about okay. other places. We're talking about Broadway. Yeah. Back in action. Yep. Um, okay. One final question. Now, I want to preface, this question's kind of tough, but this is one of my favorite questions that we've probably done or are going to do for a while. I really hope that you guys do well. If you don't, don't worry. Uh, it's probably tough because of the time limit, but maybe you'll all get this. We will find out. Listen and read the, listen to everything, read it before you answer. Here we go. Final question of the night. I'm so fucking excited. The first number one hit song in the UK in 1976 was Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Within that song, the lyrics contained the song title of what would be the next number one hit song in the UK. What was the second number one hit song in the UK in 1976? Fandango. <laughs> Galileo. What? Oh, some people got Can you it. Show me the answer. Some people got it right away. And a lot of you are getting it. This is a cool question. 
Right? Also, this game. <laughs> yeah, I just love this dog listening to music. Scalamouche. It's like a Aramic, uh, Arabic, like a war cry. Scalamouche. All right, everybody's in. Uh, let's see who knew this. <laughs> Answer, personal anecdote that makes three more cumbersome to score. Uh, this person got killed by autocorrect. Don't go break in my heart. Fantasy, landslide, carry on, easy come. Just kill the man, do the fandango, fat bottom girl, landslide. Mama Mia! The correct answer is Mama Mia by ABBA. The first number one song in the UK in 1976 was Bohemian Rhapsody. The second was Mamma Mia by ABBA, which was a lyric in Bohemian Rhapsody. Uh, so, other than that, my friends, we're done with trivia tonight. Thank you so much for being here. Cheers. We're going to look at the standings in a second. Before we do, I want to tell you just a couple things. First and foremost, don't forget about the West Suburban Humane Society fundraiser tomorrow night. Ticket sales will cut off at some point, so if you're interested, make sure you get your tickets sooner rather than later. There's also a raffle. Um, you can purchase a raffle ticket. I think they're, uh, it's similar to a split the pot, but the winner is going to win $500 no matter what. So um, if you enter that raffle, I think it's a $500 raffle. Uh, check that out. We have a whole bunch of events coming up next time, but I always forget to mention this. Every Friday evening, if you're about to finish trivia right now, and you're looking for something else to do, please close out this window, open up Facebook, and go to Bobby K Music. He is streaming right now. He is live streaming, he's playing music, he's singing, and he would be happy to take your request. If there's a song that you wanna hear, if you wanna impress your significant other, go in there before they're looking and say, hey, play this song if it's your song, uh, and then slip him a 20 on Venmo. And I promise he'll he'll play that song for you. Uh, that's where I'm about to head. We're going to watch some Bobby K playing some live music. So come hang out with us. Uh, but no matter what, thank you so much for being here tonight. Thanks for being a great crowd. We are going to go over the final standings. If you're in first, second, or third, you're going to win yourself some Vegatrix loyalty taco bucks. Here we go. In first, second, and third. First is my mom here. In second, Pookie Power in third, Space Ghost Team. Coast <laughs> to coast. All right, guys, that is all for tonight. Thanks so much for being here. Be safe. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. And we will see you next time, hopefully tomorrow, during the Western Ribbon Humane Society trivia. Until then, 